development today. So it's pretty much around like people who work towards development and community. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like development space. You know, I hope you don't Yeah, yeah. It was a great success. <laughs> yeah, so just pretty much that like, you work around trying to um, change stuff in your community. But, How did they become aware of your work? I don't know. So when I, I, I tried to ask, like, yeah. if there's someone I might know. Yeah, but like, there's nobody, it's mostly just your bad guys. So I'm wondering. <laughs> Do you know about the other nominees? There are no nominees, it's just the oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, You see, that shows that in life, whatever you're doing, is someone watching you. Yeah, you just have to keep doing it. It's just funny. Whether anyone is watching or not. <laughs> People right. are watching, yeah. Yeah. I watch it. Yeah. So are you going to get like an actual physical award? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're sending it to uh, Elvis. They're sending the flag to Elvis. Elvis. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds a bit weird. Who sang this song? Sorry? Who did this song? Bars. Ah, okay. I like it. Yeah, I can say that. Mm-hmm. <coughs> were you following the Sunstay Awards as well? Hmm? Were, you, were you following the Awards? Yeah. Was, uh, okay, okay. Well, I wasn't before the Awards, but <laughs> I, <had some. laughs> I was sleeping now. Yeah. You know, they say, they say pretty late. I was watching oh. at early stages. I slept on. But that would have been crazy. Yeah, if you're you're point seven. Seven. Sir? Well, yeah, ninety point seven. When um, when I used to come to the studio, yeah, you were there, right? Yeah. You, you know how he started now. You know how he was. Yeah, on. yeah. I met him just once. Though. Okay. Yeah. You know, we used to do that poetry program. Oh, you were on it too. I was, yeah. Wow. Like five years. <laughs> five years. Yeah, I used to come every Tuesday. Man, that's serious. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, PH, don't wake. According to bars on that one, it's 95 for 9 Cool FM's Midday Oasis. Honey's in the house. Yay! Can... So, PH, don't wake indeed. Yes, PH is wide awake. And uh, we've gotten evidence of that, you know, this weekend. Certain gentlemen from River State won an award, a Sound City MVP award. Okay. <laughs> uh, his name is Ebenezer Wikina. He's in the studio right now. Hello to you, sir. Hi, hi. Hi, everyone. Right. Hi. Hi, Ebenezer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this thing, was it something you saw coming? No. No. I'm not even trying to say this just so it sounds fine, but no. Okay, no. No, I didn't. Tell us the award you won that night. What, what category? Okay, so it's the award for innovation and excellence in community and social political development. And it's a new category under the Sound City MVP Awards. Okay, so how did how did it come about? How did they choose you as the person to take that award? Okay, so I don't know to be honest. Like even even when People were calling me at 3 a.m. on Sunday morning to say, hi, your name is on Sound City, and you know, are you watching? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm sleeping tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, well, when I, when I spoke to the organizers, what they said was they had watched my work over time, and they, f- they feel like I contributed to my community in Port Harcourt and in Niger Delta, and, you know, my work in the development space. Okay. But so, to be honest, like, I know many people who are doing several things across the country, so I'll just say I'm blessed. I'm just lucky. So. All right. I've been following the work you've been doing for a while, but just give the listener a sense of the sort of things you've been doing okay. online. Okay. So I, I had, so currently I work in, I'll say three, three sectors. I work in education, I work in development, and I work in the media. So in the media, I started in 20, about 2013 when I started blogging generally, and I... Out of that experience, the key product that had come out of that is my interview series, The Stroll Life, which, which you know about. I had featured over 120 world leaders generally, and I began with my phone, mobile phone then. Mm-hmm. And it was just pretty much me trying to reach out to anybody out there, you know, to see how I can put my voice on the platforms and, and get my story heard. 
And then if you come to you know my community development activities in 2014, I got the license to organize TEDx Youth at Odom Natural. That was great. Yeah, that was the only TEDx Youth event in West Africa that year. Wow. Nice. And um, I mean, I, I've also worked with Donald Kudu, who I does TEDx for Harcourt every every year. And for me, that was just a chance to get young people to speak about their stories from this region. I mean, I mean, the narrative, if you travel out of this part, the narrative is that we are violent and, you know, restless people who are looking for people I to kidnap. <laughs> It's, still oh, it's different. It's different, really. It is very, very different. It's very different. I mean, there's several stories here that need to be heard. So that was what I. That's why I did TED. And after that, I then moved on to the World Economic Forum. So I and a lady called Bitebo Bubu founded the World Economic Forum Global Shapers Community here in Port Harcourt, and pretty much like a community of young people who are within 20 and 30, who are just restless, who want to solve problems around the, you know. Create, create solutions in the community, see challenges, and use their various giftings and talents to solve solve the, the challenges that they see. And yeah, so that had been you know, that's a lot. Right, that's a lot of stuff. Currently, I lecture at the University Polytechnic. You know, that's in edu education, and I've been trying to um, challenge the <laughs> the old methods of doing things. Yeah. I hope uh, Rector is listening. The old methods of doing things, uh, you know, fighting, fighting, trying to make sure we use projectors, not blackboards, trying to yeah. change the way we do things. Bring an end to sorts. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> now restless for good change. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, pretty much it. More to come from uh, Ebenezer in just a bit. We're going to do some music and we'll talk more about his award. But uh, yeah, here's something from Twenty One Savage and Post Malone. All my friends. Same here. <laughs> so you're not really anything about Harcourt, right? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Nice. People, but when I was coming up, Everyone Dad was like, hey, Harcourt, hey. Oh, my God. You want honey. to kill yourself? <laughs> Lock <laughs> your door. <laughs> They're very strong people. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> well, it's different, actually. I've met really nice people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's, yeah. there's that. There's the negative, but there's also the positive. Several positives are coming. But this award, do you think it will add much to your? Do you think it add much to your resume? Well, I just, I just feel like it, it's going to help to add. Um, it's going to like give more. Um, what's it called? Attention to like community development. Since our city is like Obra. Good afternoon, dear. Hey, so you know my name? Of course. I didn't say hi to you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Yes. Hi. Hi. Honey. Right. Yes. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. So much about yes. you. Well, one. Long time, right? Yeah, same here. How have you been? I'm fine. Good. Good. Same guy just like you. Yes, you just left me like that. But I've not been on the morning show for a while now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, on the night show. Ah, okay. Yeah. We are on. I did. Okay, so how you like to? Right. I just feel like it's. I mean, Enjoy. not just because like, you know, it's, it's really cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Look how cool this is. Hey, they they want to okay. kill us. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, here in the night time. Some people do all this thing. You know, like the beauty that was. But it's all right. It's all right. Yes. You're you're good. That's Nice to be with you. Same here, So, how long have you been here? For one week. So, in, in, for, sec, in for a second, what uh, course do you do? Oh, wow. Is that a new one? Yeah, it's a new one. You invented it too. Well, I kind of like worked up with them. So, it was, it was new in so there. So, yeah. they were not pretty sure how to do like, that. Yeah. We had to design the um, structure syllabus, the course content, so they were all just like digital. Mm -hmm. Just to say, I mean, but there's something I've worked out in the future. So if anyone comes after me, I'm going to do I mean, but hundred or something. Not really, uh, I, but, I mean, but I'm still working with paint, so mm -hmm. that's just like the size of the It's so I had to make more of the science as well. That's truly, man. Education is <laughs> education needs help. Education is something that needs help. No, 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 no. Especially for most of us young people who are practicing as well. Bring that practical knowledge to the world. 
Can you work something out? Do I help you know she listen to me? Do I, we'll work something out for sure. All right, brother, it's good to see you. Hey, Kim Kale. Hey, bro. Are you ready? <coughs> So now, now your trip, yeah, that's that was mm -hmm. the work for what you were doing with these guys. Okay. Ping, what's called Ping. Uh, um, yeah, so that, you, you went to the US, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was cool. That was cool. But this, um, it was a conference on youth and solidarity. Because in Nigeria, it has like, the highest population of um, unemployed young people in Nigeria. Hmm. And in most parts of West Africa, too. So. Ping has a youth integrity project and it's part of the team that's trying to figure out how to solve the challenges. But it goes from education to private sector, the private sector So there's multi headed solution they're trying to design. So we just went to talk about it and get some funding. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're, we're lucky. We don't come forward on this one actually. Okay. We are putting some money for the project for like three years. If it works, then we will continue. But it doesn't work. <laughs> so we just need to make it work. So, so the, the funding, like, mm -hmm. how, how will that be used? How do you... so trainings? Um, most of the challenges that we have are mostly like soft skills related. So people have degrees, mm -hmm. but you know, just have this attitudes like coming early to work and you know patience and that's whole dedication. Those kind of things that are not tangible. Mm -hmm. Another things you learn in school. Those kind of skills you learn okay. in school, like mm -hmm. tech as well, technology related things. Okay. Like if you shocked me, we even have to Excel. And, Email, some very not email. Mm. You know, so, based on a, this dialogue with them for the four institutions as this AHM, the um, Polytechnic, the University of Polytechnic, mm. University of Science and Technology, and Unicorn, mm. engaging mm. some students. And, so. Just to speak out those gaps in people that can write CVs, that can answer any questions. Mm. Or something. That's crazy. Yeah. And then mostly because uh, knowledge is mostly theory so so mm -hmm. so what we know cannot be really useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the workplace. Yeah, it's not really useful really really in the workplace. So it's just theory, theory. And when you get it, you're just confused on what to do. So trying to meet up with standards. So that was a pain. But I mean, when I went to Scotland, it wasn't pain though. You know me, I'm also hustling now. Other, <laughs> other, other hustles. <laughs> every day I'm hustling. Yeah, every day I'm hustling. Now. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah, so there's yeah, this. Um, I had told you this British Council um, uh, fellowship. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yes, uh, I went, uh, then I went to Georgia. I was an um, open government partnership. What did you pay? It was a fellowship. There are several fellowships that are online. As much as work at Community and Christ. Oh, my God. It's like most people are not really keen into those. Mm -hmm. That's why, right. I mean, I, I, I think we should mention there are several, <laughs> several. Several. I mean, if, if I even have the time, I'll like, be doing like every month or so every week or something. But there's several, like, several. What about that, your guy? Uh, yeah, they were really, uh, this guy introduced me to him. He too, he, he, he registered for another scholarship. He went to Ghana. He went to Ghana, South Africa or something. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, several people know. So I'm trying to figure out the thing. Just left us. Came on the radio. Uh, he talked about uh, conflict resolution and stuff like that. Conflict, conflict. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Super Mecca. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Mecca. Super Mecca. Super Mecca is cool. He he went to Ethiopia. He's even going to South Africa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Asian. <laughs> And all these things people are paying for you, so like it's just it's it's just knowledge and information, yeah. and those information are not there. And truly, to be honest, those things are like that exposure from all these movements is what usually just opens up your mind to mm. possibilities and work and the things you can do. Because it's possible, it's very possible to be limited to things you see. Sure, sure. Once you just see other people, I see how some young people in some countries are just like. Controlling their government, and, hmm. like in, like in Rwanda, hmm. that country is, um, is pretty much run by young people. Really? Yes, it's pretty much mm -hmm. run by young people. Like wow. their president, what they is just a very forward thinking person. Mm -hmm. He has several smart people around him. And I mean, generally they have like the youngest seven millionaires in Africa. That's long. That's long. That's some real shit. That's the that's the real that's the uh, real Wakanda. Man. Yes, man. that's the real Wakanda. <laughs>
Music by Niniola Saro. It's still the Midday Oasis. My name is King Kale. My name is Hanley. And we still have our guest, Ebenezer Wikina, with us, uh, who won the Sound City MVP Award in a certain category that even he sometimes forgets. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. a pretty new category. Yes, so uh, what does this mean to you? Um, you know, how much value is this going to add to your resume as a professional? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, so, much, it's so much value. Sound City. Africa is a continental brand and more than just for me, I see it as also a good recognition for community development because there are several young people working in community development over the few, past few years and you know, most times you just work and work and work and you feel like you don't get the seeing, recognition. You feel like nobody's seeing these things. So just like Honey said, there's always someone watching. Somewhere. Yeah. So th this, this was a good recognition for, for me and also for the community. Okay. So people are always talking about River State youth. They need to do more. They are this. They're restless. <laughs> what advice would you give to the youth out there who want to achieve the sort of, you know, things like win the sort of award? Well, where do they start? Um, I would say first to find themselves because I wouldn't say try to do what I've done because what I've done is that I mean that's because of my talents and gifting but people also have their own special abilities that God has put in them and I think if they discover and you know develop and mine they can be better than what I've ever even imagined you know so I would say find, find yourself first much more than what you studied in school or read in university what's that you know unique purpose that God has created for you. So you might need to go to God. I'm sorry that I'm preaching. You might need to go to God to find it. And so when you discover yourself, every other thing just falls in place. You know, the earth just aligned somehow. Every other opportunities you need and all just fall in place. And then also we're discussing of, uh, um, this is the age of, you know, global opportunities. True. There's several grants and fellowships and scholarships and all these things lying, just lying fellow people to mm. harness. And I was telling you that, I mean, these are the things that have helped me to open up my worldview, to see the world from a various, you know, from various spectrums, to see that there are opportunities in, you know, the things that we call challenges and problems. I mean, that's the reason why I didn't even leave real estate. I had opportunities to leave at some point to go work somewhere else. But I saw that there were several opportunities lying, you know, just there. In you know, real estate, there are no jobs, there's no work. Mm. There are several things within there. You know, so you can access the opportunities. There are scholarships if you want to do your master's abroad. There are a lot of those things uh, there that you just need to apply for. There are some sites that I usually visit to check them out. There's opportunitydesk.org. There's opportunitiesforafricans.com. There's ndlink, which is where I work now, ndlink.org. Um, and there are several others. If you just Google free opportunities, you can see several opportunities there. So just just try your hands out on things. Yeah. And, no. Go just Google free opportunities. Just, just Google you. You see tons and tons and tons. Of awesome. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, so much, guys. thank you. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do our best. <laughs> Midday Races continues with some music by Stefan Dawn. Senseless. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs>